Hey guys! So today I'm going to do a really exciting video. I'm going to do my October favorites. So mostly beauty and I'm going to include a couple of things in the end of the video that is not beauty related. So first of all, let's start with the beauty products. So for beauty products, I'm going to start with skincare first. So... I'm going to start with this mask. This is just a regular conditioning clay mask and it is for all skin types. And this is a botanic, it's kind of like natural ingredients and stuff like that. that. Um, and you have to shake it really well and then you apply it all over your face and you leave it on your face for about 20 minutes and then you rinse it off and it gets tighter and tighter around your skin for every minute. If you have washed out of the mask, your skin feels really nice, very clean. The next thing I want to talk about is this Body Butter by The Body Shop and it looks like this and this is a duo Body Butter. So this is the Macadamia and it comes with two sides. So it has a for normal skin and one for dry skin. And it smells really good. It's kind of almost a coconut feel, like a coconut smell. Um, but it, this is a macadamia smell. But it's almost the same as a coconut smell. And yeah, I really, really love using the dry side. It gives a really soft skin and everything. I use it on my legs, I use it on my arms, I use it on my stomach and my back and just my whole body basically. I mean, Sample size is not the original size. This is by Lancome and it is called Hydrus 10. And then it says Soothing Anti Stress Moisturizing Cream. So, yeah, this is a jar full of cream. It smells really good. It almost like I feel like all Lancome creams have the same smell. I really like the smell. And this is lasting me for a really long time, even though it's kind of a small bottle, but I only use it on my T-zone. So I use it when I'm stressed. Uh, if I'm kind of stressed before tests or nervous or something, um, or like I have something big planned the day after, I use this on my skin. I use it on my T-zone and like around just like right here, right here, right here. And it kind of, I do not know if it actually helps, um, if it's like, like mentally or something, but it keeps, like, my skin gets really calm and stuff, so I really, really like this product, even though it may not work, uh, maybe it's just mentally. Let me go over to the makeup I have. So the first thing I want to talk about is this MAC Mineralized Charged Water. Almost like Fix Plus, but you can use this for mineralized eyeshadows. I don't really use a lot of mineralized eyeshadows, so what I use this for is I mix it in with my foundation. A couple of spritzes on my brush, my foundation brush, and then I mix it in with my foundation, and then I apply it on my whole face, and I feel like the foundation gets more perfect on my skin and lasts longer. It doesn't get cakey or anything. Um, another thing I like to use it for is also to make my eye makeup look perfect, but yeah, I use it for regular eyeshadow too, not just mineralized eyeshadows. Next product I want to talk about is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I've been using this for so long and I love it. I love it. And I'm like halfway and I got this in like May or something, either May or April, and I still have it. So that's crazy, and I'm almost, oh, only halfway, and I've used it every single day for that much of a month. And I usually mix it in with my foundation to make a tinted moisturizer, but um, for now I'm only using it as under before I apply my makeup. Really like it, and I'm actually planning on buying the two other steps in the Clinique. She said skincare routine. I used to use them before, 
but then I stopped because they weren't really working on my skin but now that my skin has approved a lot and uh, stuff like that I think that the whole skincare line will work better. The next thing is a lipstick and it is from Maybelline. This is a color sensational lipstick and they are like one of my favorite lipsticks in the whole entire world. This is 250 Mystic Mauve and this is just a really really nice burgundy color and it actually shows up more nude than it is in real life but uh... it's beautiful I have swatched it it's really really pigmented and just gets perfect on your lips you get a little bit of kind of a burgundy kind of hint while it's still nude and it smells amazing. It kind of is a mix between caramel and like vanilla scent. This is MAC eyeliner and this is a gel liner. This is the Black Track Fluid Line. Just a black eyeliner that I have basically been using almost every single day. This thing is a primer, eye primer, and this is by Ink. And it's a stick eye primer and this ink right there you put it like this and then you just twist it and it goes a long way and I like I haven't used a lot if you can see and then I just have to twist a little so it's just a white it goes perfectly under every eyeshadow if you want a more pigmented eyeshadow perfect because it's a white base but this is kind of a jumbo eyeshadow pencil with a primer. Uh, another thing I have been wearing a lot is this actually. This is for against breast cancer. Um, I went to Hard Rock Cafe in Copenhagen in Denmark uh, in the beginning of, of October and I, um, since it was Pink Aware Awareness Month against breast cancer, I got this and I've been using it a lot. Think Pink, uh, Find a Cure, Pink October 2011. So yeah. What I'm loving is Vampire Diaries. It's really, really exciting because I didn't really like the third season. Um, and I thought to myself, well, I don't think I'm gonna watch the fourth season because the third season were kind of meh. It wasn't really that good. And now I watched the new season and it's really, really exciting. So yeah, I'm gonna go watch that right now and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!